Hello. Hi. Yes, I'm looking for Tiffany. Speaking. Hey, Tiffany. This is Randy. Um, I'm just calling about your property on George Washington in Southfield. No, thank you. Uh, okay. Are you the owner of that property? I am the owner. Oh, okay. Awesome. You're just not looking to sell at the moment? To do better in their business, but I also have to... I don't know how to do it. Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm gonna start some cold calling here and we will see how this goes. So I'm calling a pre foreclosure list. Yeah, so let's check this out and we're gonna I'm gonna join the campaign. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for uh um, Marla. Okay, did not, uh, customer hung up. This is some time in between while it calls and it just pops up. So, so I would share my screen with uh, the queue and with all the number, with everything, but I don't want the addresses to be put out there. So I have this set on a three ring dialer at the moment. No one said this is fun. Just got to get through it. Hello? I'm looking for uh, Christopher. I'm sorry? Hi, I'm looking for Christopher or the owner of a property on Greenleaf Drive. No, um, you have the wrong number. Oh, I, I do apologize about that. Um, by any chance, do you have oh, any properties you might be looking to sell? Uh, no, I'm actually a realtor. <laughs> ah, Okay. Oh, it's nice yeah. to meet you. Um, so I'm a buyer in in the Metro Detroit area. So, um, what do you, what do you buy? Like, uh, so we're investors. And we purchase properties all over. Um, okay, all to over flip Michigan. Them. What's that? To flip them. Ah, uh, yes, to flip them. Oh, okay. So, um, if you do have any, I can give you my cell number if. Uh, you have any um, properties or anything like that that kind of are good for and uh, flips or anything like that? I mean, not at the moment, but if I see something, I will, you know. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, do you want to take down my cell number? Yeah. Is this one? Uh, no, this is not my cell. This is my company number. So um, I can give okay. you, yeah, I can give you my, uh, this is my dialer number. So um, okay. you, can, you can text me my, um, the, your phone number to my phone only. What okay. is your name? Uh, my name is Randy. And what's yours? Maria. Maria. And is the, uh, what's the ending of this number? Is it uh, 3689? No, it's uh, uh, 39. Uh, it's uh, my three phone number is 313-393923. Okay. Sounds great. I will definitely give you a text back um, pretty soon and kind of let you uh let you know kind of where i am who i am and what i do okay all right sounds good thank you bye all right thank you bye oh that was the wrong number but it was a realtor so always gotta um book whatever you can oh. hi yes i'm looking for dorothy you have the wrong number oh i'm sorry about that are you by any chance the owner on uh, a property on coach road in lake orion no thank you i am not Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Well, I hope you have a great day. Oh, no, another wrong number. You just got to keep at it. Hi, yes. Is John there? Hello? Hello? Yes. Hey, is John there? Yes, this is John. Hey, John. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling about your property on Woodcock Way in Highland, uh, Michigan. Yeah, it's not for sale. Oh, it's not for sale? No. You've gotten a lot of these calls, haven't you? Oh, I sure have. <laughs> all because all, all I did to my house was, I didn't even know I didn't pay the house payment. I, I switched bank accounts. I mean, the bank accounts. I switched banks. 
and I forgot to switch over my automatic payment. So there for three months, I thought I was making fucking payments, and I got a letter in the mail that said, hey, you're behind on your house payment. I'm like, bullshit. Uh, light bulb. Like, oh, you went from the fucking credit union to Huntington National Bank and never switched over the automatic payments. Got so, it. Okay. Yeah. So that's where it's at, man. Sorry about that, but yeah, she's not for sale. Well, not yet. Okay. Maybe down the road, she will be. Awesome. All right, well, man, have a good weekend. Hey, do you have any other properties you might be interested in selling? No, actually, I'm looking at buying a piece of property. So. Oh, uh, okay. Where are you looking? Uh, I'm looking towards the west side of Michigan. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if I ever come up with come across anything, um, I'll be sure to let you know. Awesome. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. So that was that was an interesting call. It was the right person, at least, but he was not interested, and he would. Um, it was just a misunderstanding. So this list that I'm in is a pre foreclosure list. So so, but at least it was the right person. It's all about taking action, and if you can take action. While you're doing this, uh, you know, you learn from everything and every phone call you do, every deal you do. So no matter what, do not just get analysis paralysis. Always take action. If you can take action, um, everything else should fall into place. You learn more from your mistakes than you do uh, your succeed successes. We're about 20 minutes, a little over 20 minutes in, and we only got about four answers. Uh, that's not good. But we will recall this list and recall it until we get as many answers as we can. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I don't really like leaving voicemails in the first contact, so. Hello? Hello? Hi, uh, yes, I'm looking for the owner of a uh, property on Fenmore Avenue in Waterford. You there? Uh, what? I'm looking for the owner of a, I don't know if you can help me or not. Um, I'm looking for the owner on a, of a property on Fenmore Avenue in Waterford. Mm, what happened with that? You need the information for that property? I, I'm looking for the owner of it and seeing if they're interested in possibly selling. Oh, no, I'm not the owner. Oh, you're not the owner? Oh, no. okay. Um, right. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, do you by any chance have any properties you might be interested in selling? No. Okay. Well, sorry to bother you. I uh, hope well, you have a great day. I too. Now, I know I handled that probably a little bit wrong, but it is what it is. Like I said, you learn from your mistakes. Um. The fact that he's not the owner of that property. Really, the only thing I can do is move on. I, the name that we have in here is for an LLC or an association. So um, I don't have an actual name. So that's why I went straight into that. I, so with that being said, um, it was... It was kind of hit and miss. And then I did always, I always want to follow up with, hey, do you have any properties you might be interested in selling at the moment? I may need to switch this over to a five line dialer at the moment. Cold colon takes some time. Hello? Oh. Wow. Uh, wow. yeah, yeah, I'm looking for a Randy. Yeah, this is he. Hey, Randy. Um, my name is Randy as well. Uh, I'm call calling about your house on Miracle Drive in Madison Heights. Yeah. Yeah, I was just calling to see if you were interested in possibly selling that property. Nope. No? Okay. Um, nope. Do you have any uh, yeah. other properties you might be interested in selling? No. No? Okay. Well, uh, if you do change your mind, I'd be happy to look at it. We are investors and looking to purchase a few properties in the neighborhood so all right well not at this time all right thank you i hope you have a great day have a good one. Bye. so he is not interested at least he was the right person
didn't even though it says it's in pre foreclosure, it didn't seem like he was eager or motivated at all. So I didn't really want to push the push the issue. So in the past thirty five minutes, we've done about uh, one hundred and sixteen calls. Probably only about four answers. I'm gonna switch this campaign for we do five lines. Hello. Hello. Hi, yes, I'm looking for a tailor. May I ask who's calling? Yeah, my name's Randy. I'm calling about your property on Mary Sue Street in Clarkston. Yeah, what about it? Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see if you might be interested in selling the property. No, no, we're all set. Thank you. Okay, do you have any other properties you might be interested in selling? I do not. All right, thank you. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. All right. So that was the right person. It was not interested in selling. And we handled it. We handled it well. So remember, we're not deal creators. We are deal finders. So. Hello. 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 Hi. Yes. I'm looking for the owner of a property on Whitmore Street in Pontiac. Who? I'm looking for the owner of a property on Whitmore Street in Pontiac. I don't own that anymore. Oh, you don't own that anymore? Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Do you by any chance have any properties you might be interested in selling that you do own? No. What's that? No. Okay. Well, sorry to waste your time. Hope you have a great day and happy holidays. Thank you. You too. Bye. All right. Looks like he was the old owner did not own it anymore and still goes still have to always ask the question do you have any other properties so usually the properties that come up with an LLC um, that's when I ask for the owner versus asking for the name so um, that way I at least get the right person hello Hello. Hi. Yes, I'm looking for Tiffany. Speaking. Hey, Tiffany. This is Randy. Um, I'm just calling about your property on George Washington in Southfield. No, thank you. Uh, okay. Are you the owner of that property? I am the owner. Oh, okay. Awesome. You're just not looking to sell at the moment? Not looking. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. Do you have any other properties you might be interested in selling? No, sir. Not at this time. Okay. Hope you have a great day and happy holidays. You as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Always be kind and courteous no matter what, even if they're cussing you. Hello? 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 Is Lattice there? Hello? Hello? Okay. And then you get people like that who don't say nothing. Just put them as customer hang up and it will call back later. Hello? Hello? Hi, yes, I'm looking for Robert. Who is this? Hi, yes, my name's Randy. I'm calling about your property on Longfellow Avenue in Royal Oak. Okay. They hung up. I'm assuming that's a no, but I'm going to put his customer hung up and we'll hit him again. At least tell me you're not interested. Now, some people can do this is they take the people that's not interested and they put them up to a follow up campaign, say every six months or something like that. And that way you can keep hitting them. But um, usually if they're not interested, I just move on. So that's just me. Um, if they come up through another list, then that's a different story. A lot of this dead time, I'm probably going to cut out, or I know I'm going to cut out so that you guys don't have to listen to it and you only get the bits that somebody answers. Hello? Hello? Hi, yes, I'm looking for a Scott. Oh, uh, you have the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry about that. By any chance, do you own the property on uh, Vinewood Street in Auburn Hills? No, sir. 
Okay, sorry about that. Do you have any other, any properties you might be interested in selling? Have a great day. Thank you. Might at least ask them the question. At least ask them the question. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hi. Yes, I'm looking for the owner of a, a property on Oaklawn Drive in Pontiac. Uh, maybe a, a Miss or Mr. Moma. Oh, yeah, hung up on me. Uh, so you get a lot of hangups. A lot of people say no's and you got to deal with it and just truck on. One, one no is just another yes, is one step closer to a yes. Hello? Hello, safe guy, may I help you? Hi, yes, I was calling, uh, uh, I'm looking for Carl. He's not in, man, what's Carl? Uh, yeah, my name is Randy. I'm calling about a property he may own on Rambling Road in Southfield. Uh-huh. And I was just curious if he's interested in selling. No. Okay. Is, is this, uh, are you Carl or? No. Oh, okay. Um, is this the right number or a wrong number? Yes, this is the right number. It's the office phone, but I know you ain't selling his house. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right, thank you. I put that as wrong number because it is his office line, not his personal line, and I did not talk to him directly. So we're going to keep going with that one. Hello? Hello? I'm going to spend about five more minutes doing this and see how this goes. This is It's the advantage of having a VA do this. So all this waste of time, you can be the secondary person. So I used to have a VA that did this uh, for me. And so I may get back in the swing of things and have her do this again. Hello. All right. That was a voicemail. I heard the beep and so I didn't want to leave a voicemail on the first contact. Now there might be other gurus out there that are, or other people out there saying, oh no, leave a voicemail, leave a voicemail. It's one or the other, you know what? And I might be leaving things on the table just because I don't. So you never know. And got an incoming call. Hello? Hello? Hi, yes, is Kevin there? Oh, I switched over to my truck. What's that? Give me one sec. I'm trying to switch, figure this out real quick. <laughs> not a problem. Hello? Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, are you Kevin? I am. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was calling about your property on uh, Center Road in Highland. What can I tell you about it? Uh, yeah, I was just curious if you're interested in selling. No. No? Okay. No, sir. Well, no, I completely understand. So I'm an investor in the area, just looking to pick up a few more homes and uh, to either do fix and flips or some buy and holds. So um, do you have any other properties you might be interested in selling? No, sir. Okay. Well, I hope you have a great day and have a happy holidays. You too. Thank you. Bye. So that was him calling me back after I called him. Exit out of the campaign. campaign. Let's see how many calls we made. So we did 277 outbound calls, got one inbound call. So I think that's good for an hour on a dialer. So I went from a three line dialer and then partly way in, I turned into a five line. So um, I think that's pretty good. I, I swear you keep an hour, hour or two hours a day you know, so I usually have a VA do from two to three hours a day. Um, and then I become the secondary. So I, I become the person that they follow up with. You know, I can use my time more wisely. So um, now throughout all this time that went in between, I probably cut all this out. So, but will if you like these types of videos where we are cold calling and and i'm going through this live 
Uh, this was all live. The only thing I edited was I took down the, the parts where uh, there is nothing being said, and I'm just waiting for the next call. So I uh, leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you. See if you like these. Uh, if not, I want to. If you want to hear more, see more of these, let me know as well. If not, let me know what kind of other videos you want me to make, and we can kind of go from there. All right. Look out for the next video. Check out our next podcast coming out. It's every other Monday at 8 p.m. We we do go live. Sometimes it shifts around depending on the guest availability. So, um, you know, if you want to keep up to date. We do send an email blast out. Go to our website, randysteadwell.com, and uh, be added to our uh, newsletter, and you'll be able to get a update. Thank you. See you in the next video. Let's all do deals together. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view